Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. A very fall-like morning across the state line, not only talking about chilly temperatures this start, but we also have had some fog develop over the last hour. And you can see that on our Mercy Health SkyTrack camera over downtown Rockford. Pretty dense fog moving over the state line as we head into the mid-morning hours. And this fog should be letting up once we get towards about 9 to 10 o'clock. But you can see visibility down to 1.5 miles out in Freeport, down to 7 in Rochelle, 4 in DeKalb, one up in Janesville. This is all thanks to a very moist atmosphere and also light winds at the surface. So like I said, this fog is going to continue into the mid to late morning hours. So if you're set to travel during that time frame, just make sure to take it slow, especially if you're heading out towards Freeport or if you're heading up towards Janesville and also drive with your low beams on. Now, temperature wise, a few spots did drop into the upper 30s this morning, now up to 44 in Freeport, 45 up in Monroe, 45 down in Rochelle, 45 up in Janesville and 46 degrees out in Savannah. Winds remain light out of the west in most spots, but you can see that we do have about 5 to 10 mile per hour winds uh, as of right now, and these winds are expected to increase, becoming a a bit breezy once we roll into the afternoon, but pretty quiet conditions out there. The only thing to watch out for if you're heading out on the roadways during the mid morning hours is the fog that I just showed you, but overall pretty quiet with clouds increasing as well. And it's all thanks to our next disturbance that is currently moving over Minnesota. You can see that there is widespread shower activity over Minnesota. This disturbance is swinging around this upper level low, and it's going to continue to track southeastward moving into the state line by this afternoon. So that's going to be bringing us scattered shower chances once again right as soon as we get towards two three o'clock is when we anticipate a few showers begin to pop up they're going to continue into the early evening hours but all activity should be done once we get after sunset now we are going to be left with mostly cloudy skies to start but there is going to be some clearing once we head into tomorrow morning so we are going to start off with some sunshine for our wednesday but clouds are quick to increase and also shower chances do increase late in the morning and that's all ahead of our next cold front that's going to be bringing not only shower chances for the afternoon but also cooler temperatures once we roll into October. Now you can see as of last year, we recorded highs in the upper 80s to end September, low 80s to start October, and then we had a big cool down dropping into the 60s by October 3rd. But not this time around. We are going to have that cool down heading into uh, the month of October. You can see that highs are about 15 to 20 degrees cooler than where we were last year, almost 30 degrees cooler with a high of 56 to start October, then down to 53 as we roll into Friday. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. You can see long range models do anticipate a little bit of a warm up and above average temperatures. Once we get into the middle of October, they do have much of the lower 48 with uh, above average temperatures in the next 8 to 14 days, more focused towards the Rocky Mountains. Now, as we take a look at today's forecast, 61 degrees sunshine to start, giving way to increasing clouds. A few late day showers are also possible. That cold front coming in tomorrow, bringing much more fall-like weather into the state line, dropping lows into the 30s. Whitney? 